Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, and just in case you needed reassurance that it's no longer get richer, die trying, it's go viral, die trying. Here you go, another example right in your face. As somebody got a hold to Roddy Rebel's jury, his chain and his watch, and went to the internet with it. Now, I don't know exactly where the video originated from. I seen it hit a couple blogs, so this meant that the dudes who did this, they sent it to them because they want the world to see and know that it came up on the lick. Like I told y'all, what is the point of committing a crime and saying, hey, look, I committed the crime. Let me leave a paper trail. Let me send it through these documented apps and phone towers that I have this man's jury. Now, Roddy Rebel came out and said he was not robbed because the headlines was like some goons ran down on him and everything. And he said they stole from him. This is not a robbery. But I'm going to tell y'all like this, bro. I don't know what is going on in the world today with this clout stuff, but anybody can get robbed. Anybody can get shot. Anybody can have somebody steal something from them. So when you come out and say, oh, I got this rapper jury, what are you doing that for? Only for the attention. Imagine going and sitting in there doing time, because we have seen a gang of niggas in there doing time right now, for the simple fact they wanted some attention. Because if you was about the money, you wouldn't have came to the internet about it. You would have went right to a jeweler, or you would have contacted him if you was really on that type of time. Like, hey, bro, hey, I got your jury. Here you go, how much you want for it back? Oh, I found it. Hey, man, I see the nigga had your jury. I got it from him, man. Give me 2000 3000 5000 Yeah, you could take that watch to a jeweler, but why put it on the internet first? Now you done made the watch so hot, you got to try to sell it to a nigga on the streets. And guess what risk come with that? It might be a nigga that know him, or it might be a nigga that's locked in with him. So you actually took something from somebody just so you can get the clout off the internet, but it ain't even real clout. This is going to fall into the hate category because your face is not on there. But you always leave a paper trail anytime you upload something to the internet. Y'all niggas got to think more wisely, bro. Think more smarter, bro. And you crashing yourself out for a quick 15 seconds of fame, if that, because your face ain't even attached to it. And this story will be old in a couple days. It's hitting all the blogs right now, but it won't last long. And like I said, bro, I don't know if this is the problem we have in the black and urban section of the entertainment world period where in our community, and I say our because I'm a part of this community too, where niggas will hate and love the artists at the same time where, hey, fam, if I robbed another nigga on the street who wasn't a rapper, would I go to the internet with his chain and watch? Probably not. You would just try to go get the money because you gain nothing at all. You don't get attention. You don't get the thrill and the rush of humiliating and clowning him. So you're not even really a robber. You are really just chasing clout. What is the point of putting your life on the line, your freedom on the line for that? Why take a risk of being separated from your family, being property of the state or property of the government, doing time, making them bread per head they can put aside the prison bed, so you can get a few likes and a little rush that your face ain't even connected to. Because they can trace all this shit back. They showing you this inside the courtroom every day. Hey, nigga, we can track crimes. We can track this. We can track that. And you know, I really don't know. Maybe Roddy and this person had some real serious, deep issues. And he said, you know what? I don't care. I'm in crash shot mode, nigga. I'll put it on the internet just to get the thrill of humiliating and embarrassing him. That's more important than everything right now to me. I don't know. Maybe they got deep-rooted issues. But in the past, it's been nothing more than a nigga looking for some quick clout. Or, hey, I get the thrill out of humiliating and embarrassing somebody. Internet mentality, babies. Niggas better rake up, bro. Niggas better realize, nigga, this is designed for you niggas to fail. And y'all keep falling to that trap, nigga. The trap of crashing yourself out to the point where you gonna look back when you get 10 years older. Boy, that was some crash dummy ass shit I did right there. Why would I commit the crime and say, hey, yo, come get me up over here, nigga. I took the watch or we did this, we did that. Time and time again, we seeing this going on. I ain't here to bash on y'all. I ain't here to make you look stupid. I'm here to give you the real live shit going on, man. 
Somebody got to come up over here and give you the clear conscience mentality. Don't get caught in some momentary shit that's going to last a lifetime, bro. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos. All that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.